There you go. There you go. All right, now Angelo, force it to the door. There it is. Bam. size difference between the llama and the alpaca. What's up guys, my name is Giovanni. Welcome to Alpaquita Ranch. Today we are going to be talking about alpacas. We are going to be talking about llamas. We are going to be talking about wakayas and suris, which are the two different types of alpacas in the world. Beside me, I have Galaxy. He is a wakaya alpaca. He is a male and he is two years old. In fact, today is actually his birthday. And so we put a little birthday head, happy birthday headband on him. And so if you could be so kind to leave him a little happy birthday comment. There is another type of alpaca that also exists and that is the Suri alpaca. That is spelled S-U-R-I, Suri alpaca. Suri alpacas, as you can see, are not fluffy. They are silky. They kind of look like mops. They have dreadlock-like fleece. And I'm actually gonna show y'all here in a little bit a real Suri and Wakaya alpaca. These are both plushies that are made out of 100% alpaca fleece and you can actually find products like this inside of our gift and fiber shop that are made out of their real fleece. Alpaca fleece is very, very special. It's resistant to water, it's resistant to ice, it's hypoallergenic and it is even anti-flammable. This is Sierra. She is a Suri alpaca. You can see a side-by-side -side comparison of a Suri, which is this brown female alpaca that I have here. And Galaxy is a Wakaya. And so you can even tell the difference in their fleece. Look at that, that's cute. You can even tell the difference in their fleece up here. Look how this is very silky. It's very straight where this is a little bit fluffier. Galaxy has a more fluffy fleece. Now, if you are wondering why she doesn't look like this, that is because we shear our alpacas once every single year. I said So Sierra just got sheared in April, but it is going to grow by December, by Christmas. It will be more like this. And you can see how it even moves a little bit. Next up, what we're gonna be talking about is we are going to introduce you to the one and only llama that we have here at our farm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. We wanted to go that in that corner. We want that. that corner. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, now Angelo, force it to the door. There it is. Bam. Yeah! Huge size difference between the llama and the alpaca. Now. I don't know if you can see it there on the camera, but a llama's fleece is gonna be very coarse. It is not going to be as soft, not even gonna be, it's not as luxurious as a uh, alpaca. Llamas were really domesticated for their size and their ability to still stay in a herd. For example, in the Andes Mountains, alpacas were able to carry weight, were able to carry food, were able to carry water. And while they're still big, like a guanaco, we'll put a little picture of a guanaco so you can see where llamas came from. Guanacos are wild animals and so the llama is domesticated, it's big, it's strong, it's still able to, it's still a very smart animal. So perfect, perfect, perfect uh, for packing up and down the Andes. Both of these animals are the two camelids in the camelid family. They are both from uh, South America. I have some alpaca yarn here that has been made 100% uh, from our alpacas. It was made in a mill here in Texas. So what we do is we sheared our alpaca in the spring. We sent off their fleece to the mill and we got some 
beautiful yarn. If you have visited us on a field trip before, you have a really good idea of how this was done. Of how we got this red alpaca yarn during our field trip sessions, uh, or some of our kids camps that we do, uh, we actually teach students how to naturally dye uh, alpaca yarn, which can then be made into beautiful red sweaters like this. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you all learned something today about an alpaca, about a llama, about a Siri and Wakaya. Like, subscribe, leave a little comment for Galaxy. Wishing him happy birthday today. Thank you all.